Good morning. It's March 1st. Um, I just wanted to say the Lord's been putting it on my heart. You know, um, every morning when I drop my kids off at school, I pray over them. And But the Lord's been putting it on my heart. Um, you know, even though the days that we're living in and, you know, sometimes we get so caught up in the news and what's going on with Jerusalem and, you know, the Lord's coming back and, uh, you know, um, the countdown, you know, until, you know, the church is raptured up. But um, during all this time, I feel like the Lord showed me, you know, we need to be thankful, thankful, you know, um, that we're, well, I live in California um, but, you know, I feel like the Lord showed me, you know, to be thankful about things like be thankful I'm not living in a war ridden country, you know, be thankful that he breathed life into me today. Be thankful that, you know, um, he's turning my family's hearts towards God. Be thankful, you know, that my children are here, you know, be thankful that I have a roof over my head, that we have a roof over our head. Be thankful, you know, that we have food and running water, you know, and in South Africa right now, you know, a few weeks ago, they said they only have 40 days till they're out without running water. And there's just so many things to be thankful for, you know, Syria is been in war like they're always having things there's you know a lot of stuff that's going on um you know across you know and other countries and things and I just think that sometimes you know we take a lot of things for granted and we need to be thankful thankful that we're not living in a communist country that we have freedom to read our word we have freedom to speak to others about Jesus Christ you know that we have freedom to have Bibles you know that we don't have to hide our Bibles you know I have a Bible in my car a Bible in my home you know um uh, you know, I probably have like 10 Bibles, 15 Bibles in my place, you know, different Bibles, Jerusalem Bibles, King James, New International Version, you know, to study from. And there's some people that, you know, have to rip out pieces of the Bible and hide them to memorize them, you know. And I believe that God says, you know, hide my word in your heart, you know, because uh, hopefully we never get to those times. Hopefully the church is raptured up before then and, and you know, that we're going to be able to escape the things and the wrath, you know, from not, you know, for the people that, you know, don't believe in Jesus or don't want to serve him. And so I just want to say uh, t today just to be thankful in a few scriptures that I was reading, you know, that I love is, First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 be joyful always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus do not put out the spirit's fire do not treat prophecies with contempt test everything hold on to the good avoid every kind of evil may God himself the God of peace sanctify you through and through may your whole spirit soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ the one who calls you is faithful and he will do it and this to me kind of ties in hand with Luke 21 36 be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all this is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the son of man you know and uh if you haven't read the book of acts i've been in the book of acts lately if you haven't read it i suggest that you get into there uh peter you know uh, such a man of faith you know such a heart after god and, you know, one of the things that I love is that he states, And now compelled by the Spirit, I'm going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. I only know that in every city, the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardships are facing me. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. If only I may finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the gospel of God's grace. And that's Acts chapter 20, verse um, 22 to 24, you know, and or actually not Peter, uh, I believe it's Paul. And, uh, you know, I just feel like, you know, <sighs> I pray daily, Lord, help me to finish this race and not just dragging through like, you know, a soldier at war, just barely like 
holding on because some days feel like that you know since my sis little sister went home at the end of December 2016 you know some days feel like that for me where I'm just barely dragging through and I'm like Lord I don't want to finish this race just barely hanging on by a thread Lord like I want to finish this race you know with fire with boldness Lord open up the floodgates of heaven and fill me with your fire and your boldness so that I may be able to tell others of your good works you know and also, you know, sometimes and I just want to say with that scripture reading about Paul in um, chapter 20, verse 24. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. If only I may finish this race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me materialistic things money everything even us our flesh we all fade away everything fades away at the end of the day what's left is your relationship with jesus christ and and your spirit you know your spirit uh you know when you die you're immediately in the presence of god and you know i don't think that you would want to die and be immediately in hell so you know if you haven't gave your life to the lord jesus christ you know i just want to say a little prayer with you right now lord come into my heart lord help me to live for you father god i ask for your forgiveness for anything i did said or thought that was not aligned with your word that you would help me to change those situations and circumstances and things in my life that i need to change so that i may live for you lord and do your will help me to be a god chaser and not a people pleaser lord i thank you father god i pray that i may be accounted worthy in the end times to stand before the son of man in jesus name i pray right now lord come into my heart lord show me your ways so that i may follow you all the days of my life in jesus name amen and also i just wanted to share one last thing you know um because i just feel like you know uh i have been going on and off of the daniel fast you know praying that god would give me strength and and speak to me so the other day I went to a store and I bought something and I noticed on the tag it said Brighton. And then as I was driving last night with my husband, I looked and I seen a street and it said Brighton. And then I went to the gym this morning and what do you know, by the in the bathroom I see the word Brighton. So I'm like, okay, and, and it's spelled B-R-I-G-H-T-O-N. So I decided to look up what the word Brighton means and it says, the one who is loved. And I just want to say thank you to the Lord. You know, I feel like he's been speaking to me, you know, as I've been getting into my word and drawing close to him and being a God chaser. I feel like he's been speaking to me and I just want to say I love my Lord. I love my Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank him for saving me from you know, just things that I had gone through growing up and when I was young and ran the streets and did foolish things, you know, like the world does. And, you know, I thank him for his grace and his mercy and his love and that he chased after me, you know, and that I'm able to come back to my first love. And, you know, now, you know, I find myself chasing him and I just want to say I love you, Lord. I thank you for breathing life into me today. I thank you for your message. You know, the one who is loved, I just feel like God's saying, I love you. You know, I love you. And I just want to say, you know, stay encouraged. You know, let's finish this race strong. Let's finish it. You know, we're we're daughters and sons of the king you know we can do this let's finish the race